Hi there friends, my name is Josh Marquina and this is my travel story. Hi friends, uh, I'm ko lang at uh, agenda ko today is to go to the temples and the Grand Palace. Yun yung isa sa mga important na destination ko sa tour na to. Kaya sabi nila, you've never been to Thailand kung hindi mong pa na-revisit ang Grand Palace. So, bago ako pumunta dun sa destination, uh, syempre, order ako ng food for my breakfast. And guess what? Of course, it's Pad Thai. And let's see. There. Medyo mainit, pero I'm sure mag-enjoy ako kasi makikita ko everything. So, ayun. Kaya muna tayo para may energy later kapag may lahat na tayo papunta sa Grand Palace. Hi! Walking na ako papunta dun si Grand Palace. Tama lang yung decision ko na maglakad. Eh, syempre, iba din kapag naglalakad ka na explore mo lahat. Katulong tanda, ko nakitang vendors. Nag, uh, nagkita sila ng mga bulaklak. Ah, uh, mga food, street food. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Tsaka malinis dito. Of course, may mong. Ayan. Wait. So, I am on my own. And, uh... Uh... Uh, excited ako. <laughs> Kinakabahan. Kasi I opted not to get a package na tour. I think mas practical na I do it on my own. Ang mga Thais, they are, they are like us, Filipinos. They are very courteous, hospitable. Nawala na pala ako. Okay, nasabi ko mag-vlog ako kasi isang dagaytso lang naman. Lumagpas na ako. So ito, pabalik na ako. Pero okay lang, 5 minutes away na lang ako. Update ko kayo pag ko doon. Ayan, yun ata sa... Kasi sabihin, medyo malapit na nga ako. Ayan. Lapit na! Let's go! Tinatulong namin kung nasan yung entrance. Go straight. Go straight. Go long, long, long. long. Uh, so, then you turn right. And, and turn. And, and turn. Not, and not here. Not here. This, we go out. Oh, okay. So I have to go there. Oh, okay. Not here? Not here. There, there. And not, not there. It's there. There, okay. Uh, now it is very long. Very long. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. The temples in Thailand expect visitors to wear polite outfits as a gesture of respect to its sacred places. You surely don't want your trip to the Grand Palace interrupted because of improper dress code. This rule is strictly enforced for visiting men and women likewise. You should avoid wearing mini skirts, sleeveless shirts, sports attire, and shorts. If in case you overlook this rule, fret not because just outside the palace complex, you will see numerous shops selling clothing for reasonable price. The 
Grand Palace was built in 1782 by King Rama I when he moved the capital city from Thonburi to Bangkok, the heart of the country. By his royal command, the palace was built to serve not only as the site for administrative offices, but also as residence of the king. There are many important buildings and statues in this complex. This statue named Chiwo Komarapat is the father of Thai herbal medicine and was a doctor of the Lord Buddha himself. This is a model of Angkor Wat, the Khmer Temple in Cambodia. King Rama IV had it built for his subjects to see what the Khmer ruins looked like. The original Angkor Wat in Cambodia was built by King Surya Varman II. The real one is very large, about 1,000 meters length and 800 meters width. Nandito na ako ngayon sa loob ng Grand Palace. Sobrang laki nito, as in thousands of square meters. Ha, ang daming tao. Okay, tingnan nyo, ang ganda. And uh, this is just one part of the entire royal compound. And when you get to enter, uh, makakita ka ng, ano, ng uh, map. Tapos meron dun if, if you're Korean, if you are Chinese, if you are French, German, tapos syempre meron ding English. Buti meron silang mga map. And then description per, per temple or kaya per building, meron sila dun kung bakit siya ginawa, paano ginawa, anong year siya ginawa, at sinong king yung nagpagawa sa kanya. Apparently, yung Grand Palace pala, hindi siya isang gawa lang. Uh, depende kung sinong king may king na ito yung pinagawa, may king na itong, itong temple yung pinagawa. Ito ang uh, former residence ng, ng Thai king and of course the rest of the royal family. Uh, ngayon, siyempre, hindi, hindi na ito yung ginagamit na residence ng current Thai King. Pero meron pa ding mga buildings dito na ginagamit for, for official royal uh, function. Ayun, so, alikatur pa tayo. The most prominent building inside the Grand Palace is the Chapel of the Emerald Buddha. The Emerald Buddha is regarded as the most important Buddha image in Thailand. It was meticulously carved from a single block of jade and was probably made in the 15th century. There are three different costumes of the Emerald Buddha, one for each season. They are summer, rainy season, and winter, all made of gold and jewelry. The ceremony of changing the costume of the Buddha takes place three times a year, at the beginning of the new season by the only person who is allowed to touch the Emerald Buddha, His Majesty the King of Thailand. Hi! Pala nandito ako ngayon sa hallway. Pagpasok mo, may mga nakapalibot doon na parang malilit na walls. So ito yung nasa loob nun, mga uh, painting ata to. Pero ang ganda kasi very detailed. Hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin siya kumukupas. Namintin talaga siya ng maayos. Ang ganda. Napakita ko sa inyo. The Gallery and the Rama Kien Story These are mural paintings which tell the story of the Rama Kien. The story is a battle between Demon King Tosakanth and King Rama, a human being. The demon king kidnaps Queen Sita, the wife of King Rama, with the hopes that she will fall in love with him. With a great army of monkey warriors, demon king Tosakanth was defeated and King Rama takes Sita back to Ayodhya, his capital city. The gallery consists of 178 sections. The first painting was done under the reign of King Rama I and have been renovated along the years. Uh, 
na punta lang ako dito sa loob kasi umambun sa labas. So, ayun parang palakas ang ulan. Kaya ako sumugod dito. Tapos pagkita ko, ito yung parang bumulaga sa akin. Ang ganda. Sobrang ganda. I, I am here at uh, Watpo and this is where the famous reclining Buddha is. Watpo or the Temple of the Reclining Buddha is located just behind the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. Watpo is often considered as the leading school of massage and the oldest center for public education in Thailand. Because of the popularity of the nearby Grand Palace, Watpo experiences fewer tourists and therefore a bit more relaxing to wander through. <laughs> the Sleeping Lion Posture It is the position in which Buddha died and about to enter Pari Nirvana, or the Nirvana of the afterlife, highest spiritual being one can achieve. Soles of Buddha's feet are covered in precious mother of pearl setting, which is 5 meters long. When visiting the temple, you will see the entire feet with images of 108 different laksanas, or characteristics of the true Buddha. Uh, tapos na ako magpag-picture dun sa Reclining Buddha and I'm lucky kasi may mga nakita akong ano, fellow Pinoy nagpakasoy akong pwede kong picture ano. Bucket list, picture na ako the Reclining Buddha Nirinig yung mga ano yun, mga coins ng mga visitors dito uh, naglalagay sila ng coins dun sa bowl Ayan, tingnan nyo Hello. Hi. Hello. You're yes. uh. Pots, bowls, and wishes. There are 108 bronze pots that are placed just behind the huge reclining Buddha. Why that number? Because it refers to the 108 great symbols that helped lead Buddha to perfection. Don't forget to make a wish when dropping a coin in each pot. You'd have to pay 20 Thai baht for a bowl of coins. And even if your wishes don't come true, the money you'll pay for the coins will help the monks renovate and preserve the temple. The uniqueness of the Grand Palace lies in its remarkable construction which has been put together by all the past kings of Thailand over time. There are a lot of interesting structures in the complex. Every way you look, it is very clear just how much effort must have been to decorate everything. Just like the demon guardians, this one is called Ayaksha, a nature spirit that acts as a protector. Six pairs of them were built to guard the temple of the Emerald Buddha from evil spirits. This golden stupa is called Phra Siratana Chedi in Thai. It was erected by King Rama IV in 1855. Relics of the Lord Buddha are enshrined inside this stupa. These eight towers are standing on the east of the temple. A prang has the same function as a chedi, which is a monument to one worthy of veneration. Hey, tapos na yung tour ko. Sabi ko, pauwi na ako. Labas na ako kasi paula na. Tapos nakita ko to. Look. Mm -hmm. 
I am fortunate to be just on time to witness the monk's late afternoon chanting ritual. It is an uplifting experience where I was able to join the monks in their ceremony. It became surreal for me because it is an experience very few visitors will ever see and hear. No big crowd, no rowdy tourists, just praying locals, smell of incense, and peaceful atmosphere. I'd say the best way to end my tour. My name is Josh Marquina, and this is my travel story.